How's it going guys? So today we have our first deck review. Now that we have all of the cards in the game, I can start creating some videos about the decks that are posted on Geodex and other websites. Um, and I can go through the decks with you guys, uh, kind of give my thoughts about the deck, what are the good parts, the bad parts. And we can jump right into some matches so that you can guys can see how the decks behave and see whether you want to spend the money on the decks and create the decks for yourselves. So here we have a pretty good deck that was on geodex.com. Um, it was a top deck right now in terms of win rate. It has like a 90% win rate. Um, and it's a control death deck. So I think that the important parts here in this deck are, for example, you gotta have the dust to dust. Okay. So that's very important. Usually you run with that with blood ritual, but you gotta have the dust to dust. And then you, you have the demonologist, which allows you to pull something back from the void. Uh, you have the raise dead because typically you're trying to go for the late game and you're either playing end times or hydra and you want to bring it back. Okay. Uh, and in terms of high cost cards, you always have the demogorgon because that's a staple in every control deck. And the six mana is the the usual reap. Uh, you have the blade master here to get some draws, and then you don't have any sort of uh, three mana drops. And as for two manas, you're, run, you're running like Rune Asp and a Fanatic of Kun because you want to ramp up as fast as possible to the late game. So you're going to be targeting getting those mana locks. Um, and for one mana, it's basically the Bite Bomb, which is uh, the usual uh, stuff you run in a, a deck. It's, uh, it's also important to note that you have a Cerberus. So the Cerberus is important because it allows you to control the board since you have really strong creatures typically uh, you're going to be targeting the opponent's creatures um, and those are going to be the ones that are going to be dying and you can always bring it back with uh, Raise Death. And then you have the hero card, the Death and Born, uh, which basically changes your god power and uh, allows you to, 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 to stay competitive in the late game. So let's jump right in. Uh, the win rate's pretty big, it's around 90%. So let's jump right in and see how it goes with the stack. Okay, so here you always go with Blood Ritual because since you have a really strong late game, you're gonna be trying to get back the late game you're probably gonna lose a lot of health in the beginning. Okay, so we definitely don't need Death and Born. Dust to Dust is pretty good because it allows us to trade a couple of stuff and we don't need Hydra. Where to begin? Before it might not have been as good, uh, but nowadays since you have the Favor and Sanctum system, uh, it's much better. I think I could go, I even go for now I think I'm gonna go th for this next turn. Okay, what we got here? Uh, we got Blackwood Blast, which is pretty good. We got the uh, Archer and Thebian Brawler. Okay. Let's make them. Suffer. Okay, so we're gonna go for Fanatic. He's gonna trade it for sure. Hmm. If he doesn't trade here, I have enough damage to be able to uh, drop that thing down. So that's gonna bring us up to 4 mana. And once we do dust to dust, it's gonna bring back the fanatic. Death has a name. Speak it. Exactly. So here, we're gonna go right ahead for, for this. I'll probably even do no. I'm gonna do this. Patience. I'm gonna bring that back and it's gonna bring mine back. Okay. He's gonna give us another um hmm. another mana lock. We gain like a bunch of uh, favor. So dust to dust here is amazing. Uh next turn we probably have enough to grab the um, 
the Theban Brawler. Okay. Okay. Let's make them Interesting. Center. So here I could go for this, but I think I'm gonna go for the. Finger play, and I'm gonna trade this here. It's gonna give us another mana lock. Mm. So this is gonna pull the nether from the deck, not the void. Gonna go face. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, the hour is mine. I think I'll trade this here. I'm gonna trade this here, and I'm gonna drop the blade master because I want to get the tempo advantage. He can get a bunch of cars, but that's enough for now. I want to get the tempo advantage. Even if he takes the cards here, um, they're not that good right now. Uh, maybe like another Hydra drops in, and we're gonna have enough favor to be able to take it out. And we're probably gonna drop the two rune asps next turn. Okay, so we took the archer, which means he, he he's gonna use it. Oh, he's gonna trade. Interesting. He's not gonna trade. Even better. At last. Ooh, that's a pretty good question, man. I think I'm gonna have to trade this here, and I'm gonna drop like the the, the big uh, the war two mana locks, two mana locks, and fanatic. Hmm. Okay, we didn't get the rat, but we should take it out. Is the rat's basically the counter for my deck? This is gonna pull the um, the servers. The void is not empty. Oh, he's it's gonna go face. Infinity. Interesting. Except for the fact. I'm gonna trade and I'm gonna start healing up, man. The hour is mine. Well, I'm not gonna trade. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull the Demogorgon. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna start healing up, so I'll take the rat, I may. Because next time we do Demogorgon. We should really do this more often. If he drops a big card, I can just reap it. Death has a name. Speak it. Okay, so he's gonna go for the big one. If it's, uh, well, it doesn't have God Blitz, but we should still heal up, yeah. You're gonna trade against something. Interesting. Okay, so. At last. This is my thing. I'm gonna trade this here. I'm gonna give the blitz here. This is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. 
For him, it doesn't matter the stuff. And this is gonna heal me up to three. Now let's see if we have anything uh, interesting. Nope. I take this off. Oh, actually, I should have taken this. As if it can kill anything, you can take this. Oh, it doesn't matter because we do have them a Gorgon. But I'm not gonna give him the opportunity to do this. What did he get? Okay, I'll pull ice roots. That's perfect. So we might take that away and, uh, and, and and get a bunch of cards. But then we're gonna be healing up with uh, Amazon Heart Eater. So, and we still have the Demogorgon. We can play Demogorgon with. Uh, no, we can't play both. But we can do Rip, for example. He can go face here, try and get the Opalized Roots and see if he gets anything good. Or we can take the Thieving Brawler and drop it. Which is pretty good. Okay. And he's gonna go... Okay, so this is gonna be Ripped, for sure. And I'm probably doing rip and, and this, which means I'm gonna heal up to... He's gonna deal face damage. Uh, I'm gonna heal up to... Oh, we have 9 mana. My turn. Oh, interesting. Um, I still think I should go for the rip. Then we trade this here. And we do this, meaning we are pumping up to high amount of damage. Don't think I need to take anything because it's hunter strap, hunting trap. Gets me like you. Yeah, I'm healing up. Way too much, man. He's gonna concede next time. He's gonna concede now. Oh, he's gonna use it on this guy. Ooh, interesting. Uh, Enemy creature. Okay, um, what do we get here? Arc Rush. So, now we definitely need to go for... Each creature and deal 2 damage to a creature. So we definitely need to go for Demogorgon now. Yeah. And do we take the... No. We don't take this. We can heal up for 10 if we need. We can drop another Demogorgon and heal up for 10. We target this. We attack with this. So we heal for 4. And then... We heal for 8. And we drop the other Demogorgon. The hour is mine. Let's draw a card and see what we get. Uh, let's put the other one. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is he doing? Oh, I'm healing up. You're not gonna have enough damage for me. This guy, it's pretty good because you're ramping up really fast. So the Rune Asp and the Fanatic of Kun uh, is really good against aggro decks because you're ramping up so fast that they don't have any choice. My turn. Yeah, raise the dead though. The dead. Are we raising anything uh, other than Demogorgon? No, I think that's the best. Does he have anything interesting? Yes, Steven Brawler. Demogorgon heals me up. Now we wait. Hmm. He's like, what the hell am I gonna do? Hey, concede. This deck's pretty good. Let's go for the second game and see if it's uh if it's not good.
Okay, Blood Ritual. We're going up against Magic. This is going to be interesting against Steel Rat. Okay, so we definitely don't need the Blade Master right ahead. And we don't need this. I'm going to keep these guys. Let's see what we get. So basically, two runes as plus uh, a fanatic of Kun gives us um, six mana walks, which is almost as good as uh, the magic, uh, even though it is for both cards. Okay, oh, okay, we got a Hydra here, so we need to start dealing some damage. Okay, we're definitely gonna start dealing some damage because uh, this is way too good. Yeah, we gotta take the other hydro. Man. The hour is mine. Now the question is, do I want to drop this on and drop the life bomb? I think I do, right? I'm still getting in favor. Now he can kill both of them, so I'm gaining like uh, six favor next turn. The void is not empty. It has never been empty. We need the ramping cards though. These... Okay. Cost three or less. Okay, so we can definitely... Think. Okay, we can kill creatures. Let's we would need to trade suffer. against this guy. I can do it like this. And do this here and drop the one. And kill this guy here. He's gonna give us an three more favor and he cannot now kill both of these guys because this is gonna hit this and this. Yeah. The dead hunger. Even if it brings it back I can kill with Perfect. This is all creatures, so we don't want to do that. Hmm, he's using a worm breath in this. Uh, do we want to kill everything now? The hour we do. Is mine. Oh, no, no, this is cost 3 or less. Uh, um, interesting. Um... Death has a name. Speak it. I think we're gonna have to go for this. I think cost three. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and I gain a bunch of favor, man. The Hydra is mine. The Hydra is mine. The Hydra is mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he's going for the runes. Interesting. My turn. Nice. That's a free turn. Need that I'm a Gorgon man. Hmm. Okay, so next turn oh we don't have any more we have another one, so we can pull this on turn six if we want. I think next turn we have enough um Favor to take away the Hydra. Yeah. It's good. Rune of Sight. Okay, so he's fishing. Well, I can increase the damage. I'll if I do what I want. Okay, we want to trade this uh, with this, because he's gonna, he's gonna, yeah, to do it either way. Ooh, interesting. Uh, can we deal with that? At the end of each turn. I'm kind of screwed here. 
I could put pull the wildfire and use it. What can I have to do? He's gonna gain the favor, right? Yeah. Oh, he's not gonna get enough favor to get the Hydra. And next turn we drop the Demogorgon, so... Mm. Let's see. What's this? Ward. Percy? Ooh, interesting. Um, well, I could go for the Cerberus next turn. That also works. It's, it's gonna bring some of his cards back, you know? And it's gonna be less than 3 mana, so... This is actually pretty good. This is a- yeah, this is the best play right now. Cause this is gonna kill all three of the guys. What happens? The hour is uh, this is gonna kill all three of the guys. This is three or less. Elf three or less, perfect. Okay. So this is gonna give a give me enough uh Patience. Yeah. Perfect. All three. Hmm. And I gain a bunch of favor, man. Okay, so we're taking the Hydra next turn. Um, probably gonna go for the fight. Okay. Probably gonna attack with the Cerberus first, and then I'll do Demogorgon and uh, use it on this guy. But we could also do our Teeter and then something else. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So he's not playing anything else. Perfect. My turn. Oh, this is good. I'll take the Hydra. And I'll do God. Two mana locks. Um, well, I could kill it and draw a card, but I'm not gonna do that. Or I could. I don't think this is that. So, I uh, should no. Well, it would have the service would have fit either way. So I've seen much of the void, and I have no intention of. Returning. So next time we can do Death and Born, and we have another Hydra. We have a second Hydra in the deck, if that's the case. Um, if we need it, this is health three or less. Okay, Burno. Okay, he's spending a whole turn for that. Well, it's four mana, but uh, he's basically spending a whole turn. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the free turn, man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take the free turn. The hour is mine. Ooh, this is good. Although it's 19 damage. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take the free turn. enough for now a burn plus 12 to a creature <laughs> it's like you die <laughs> next turn you die man <laughs> okay so now we don't have a lot of heal which is important okay so he's taking that the turn because he's gonna go for that okay next turn we're probably gonna go for the blade master because he has ward so yeah he's taking the turn to to think yeah, we're gonna go for the Blade Master. And I think I'm gonna go for the for the Cyclops here. That's our next card. Ooh, interesting. Uh do we wanna bring back the Cerberus? We don't, but if we need to, we'll do it. Okay. 
Like, we do have a bunch of hmm. answers to basically everything you can throw. Ooh, interesting. That's good. Not as good as mine, though. You're gonna take a hand times in the face, man. That's the issue. Is that you're gonna... Uh, yeah, sure. Buff it up. Buff it up as much as you want. Man. This is kind of stupid. I could do Reap, but I want to do End Times because it's going to drop an 8-8 eight, eight on the board, which he's going to have to deal with. So it gives me a free turn, basically. And I can always bring this back with the Raise Dead. That's the important part. Okay, so we, we have Hydras ready. Two Hydras, so he's not going to be able to deal with us. This is... Our win is guaranteed. Yeah, can you... Can you kill it? We have another reap though. Dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but you're gonna take a reap. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, if I do reap, I can't do anything else. Whatever. Hmm. I can still do Demogorgon with um, Blight, actually. <laughs> if he throws another one, <laughs> I can do it. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, this is mana cost 3 or less, okay. I'll... Ooh, interesting. Well, Hydra is the next one, though. Sorry. Next turn we have a Hydra. This is a uh, Twin Strike, right? Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna take the Hydra, the Hydra in the face. I'm gonna take for fear. I could also take this guy and kill both of them. Did he do? Rune of Life, okay. Dude, you're gonna take two Hydras in the face, man. I'm even gonna use the, 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 this one, that you can see that I'm, I'm not kidding around. Yeah. Good luck dealing with this, because next time I'm gonna put another one. Hmm. And I can bring it back, that's a, the, the, the worst part for you. Is that I can bring this back, I can bring the Hydra back. Oh, the... Interesting. Interesting indeed. Of the last creature played. Yeah, sure. He popped off the ward. Okay. I can always bring it back. That's the thing. And I do have a Demogorgon with a burn plus 12. <laughs> okay, so we need to kind of hurry up. Even though we can do a lot of damage. Oh, we have a reap. Good. This is good. I'm gonna take uh, five damage. Okay. I'm gonna take this away. Oh, our hand is full. Okay. Uh, what can we drop? We can drop. Uh, I don't want to draw, so I take this guy off, and I'm gonna summon him. Even if he summons the high rate, it doesn't help him. You know, he can kill this guy only. Such a resistance. And this has ward. And I'm gonna bring back the hydro. Oh, he turned everything into a rat while playing, my friend. Ooh, interesting. At oh. last. Now the question is. 
well, this is good for the Hydra. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this, and this. And I don't want to take Okay, so he's gonna drop the Hydra now. This ought to be entertaining. Because he's gonna kill both of them. He's gonna gain like up to seven. And I'm. The thing is, can we. Well, we can do the, do the Apocalypse now. He also, he also has another card for this, so. I might want to do like the Blight first, and then I'll do. Now you've got my attention. Do the reap, perhaps, yeah. That's good. Is the apocalypse now? Um you might have another one of those cards, so it might be important to drop this guy. You could also kill the hydro with another hydro. Thing is this is gonna heal me up, man. He's taking the other vanguard. Do we want to get like anything? No, that's the question. The question is this one. That destroy a random uh creature. Okay, that's not interesting. So we could do blight and reap, but we don't play anything. Or we could do um the hydra twice on the same guy. Uh, and it only takes damage, and it's gonna heal up. Yeah, I think this is the best approach. Because if he copies it, now I have the apocalypse oh, now. I have like a bunch of answers for everything. If he copies it again, the he dead probably hunger. will do. Um, Okay, so he's not copying. Perfect. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring the other one back. <laughs> I'm gonna bring both of them back. Like, uh, do you want to surrender or don't you want to surrender, man? He cannot kill everything. He doesn't have it. He might have another... No, he doesn't have another one. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. He's, uh... Yeah, Let's make them yeah I'm gonna bring another one back. Just uh, to, to make him suffer. Like she said My yeah sure why not um do we want to do this boom 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 oh we cannot target face man <laughs> i'm not gonna take anything <laughs> yeah good luck dealing with two hydras man one's uh, hard enough to deal with the apocalypse now is actually pretty good because it deals with the hydro. Yeah, you can see that. Hey guys, so I think my overall review of the deck is it's pretty good. Um, the Blood Ritual kind of like uh, gives you a way out in uh, uh, games that you're going up against uh, very aggro intensive decks and face decks. Um, but like the Ruined Ass plus the Kuhn uh, allow you to get to the late game much faster. If you didn't have any way to get to the late game uh, faster, then the deck wouldn't be as good because it would be very weak in the early game. But since you have those, um, once you start getting to like six mana, seven mana, you have the Demogorgons, you have a bunch of ways to solve the game um, before you bring the big guns into the fight. And you have the Hydra, which you, you can bring back with the Raise Dead. So I think the deck is overall really really good if you did an approach like this with other decks like deception or light they wouldn't have worked 
uh, because of the, the mana ramp that you have here with uh, Rune Asp and uh, Kun. So I think you guys, guys, you, sh you should try out the deck, even though the deck is pretty expensive to make. Uh, on the website, it was saying like uh, half of uh, Ethereum, but most of the cards that are really good are core cards like Cerberus, uh, the Hydra. Uh, you need Dust to Dust, that's one of the most important cards, uh, and the Demogorgons. Uh, those are not, those are, are, are from the Genesis uh, raffle. So I would, but getting Demogorgons should be your number one priority because they are actually really good in pretty much every deck. Either way, guys, if you guys got, if you guys like the deck review, make sure you smash the like button down below and answer the question in the description to participate in the giveaway. See you guys next time. Packs out. Bye-bye.